so in this video i would like to show you how you can use uh, vertigo for uh, interactive completions besides that uh, there is this uh, nice concept of using multiple packages for uh, attaining something and these packages work together to give you a better experience so vertigo and selectrum are packages like that so they perform completion but they also works well with other packages so for example let me open up my configuration file so this is an empty configuration file and i have the github page for all the packages which i'm going to show in this video so the first one is vertigo so vertigo gives you vertical interactive completions for example so let me close out of my emacs so if i open up my emacs again so this is going to be like let me increase so if i do a control x control f you can see i'm using the default completion style i'm not using any fancy completion uis or something like that so the first one we are going to use is this new configuration let me close that out so that's like inside your init.el i'm uh, going to specify some configuration so first one i would like to use is vertigo so i'm just going to use this so control x control plus and if i hit control y i already have what i have copied over here so if i do a control x control s to save this file and control x control e to execute it's going to grab vertigo and install it i already have it installed in my system so it's not going to do that for me so it's enabled vertigo mode already so let's try that so if i do a control x control f you can see this is vertigo but out of the box it's not that like if you just use vertigo it's not that good for example if i hit backspace ins it's not going to give me any info like any completions because it's just do vertical interactive completions so for improving this functionality we can use some other completions along with it so either you can use a percent or you have options to select uh, orderless so orderless is actually nice i like the package the page for orderless and they have this uh, default configuration let's choose that and um, let's navigate to our configuration file and hit ctrl y so if you are on package.el you don't need to edit anything because i'm on straight.el i need to do straight.t so now that's done so we can do something like ctrl x ctrl s to save this file and ctrl x ctrl e to execute so we have that so now if i do an alt x and pacins you can see it's having this uh, way of completion and if i do something like uh, ins pac for example you can still see package install available then the next package i would like to show you is uh, something actually really cool so you can consider this as a alternative to council inside iv so the default configuration is uh, rather huge so uh, i will do mine so use dash package and the package name will be consult and make sure it's installed so straight t now we can specify some key bindings bind then what i want to do control x and b to open up uh, consult dash buffer so control x control s control x control e to execute and if i do a control x b you can see this is the consult buffer so consult buffer will give you stuff like uh, you can easily navigate through the files and it will give you a preview at the same time you can see that this is my dashboard this is my scratch buffer this is messages my straight process and the configuration file so that's actually nice and uh, 
we have some other functionality for consult you can actually use uh, consult is having grep functionality you have like uh, rip grep you can use uh, consult line so i actually like consult line so i'm just going to copy this and inside my key bindings i'm going to specify that so instead of meta sl i like to use uh, control x shift l so control x shift l going to give me this consult line so you can consider this like swiper or uh, something similar to swiper so you can search like use you can see the things that are having use that are in that line so stuff like that oh but sometimes i like to use uh, helm swoop instead of consult line so that's my choice if you want you can use that so that also works with this so consult is having like uh, many other commands choose uh, whichever you want to use and define your own key bindings for that so you can have like uh, i search history stuff like that so that's really nice so consult is actually a large package which is having multiple functionalities with that so if you want something like uh, yank meta y you can use that stuff like that so if i do that and if i add that to my configuration let's uh control x control s control x control e and here if i do like uh, alt y or meta y you can see the last thing i have copied over here so you can navigate in your kill ring or your clipboard if you think like that so that's one way of doing stuff you hit ctrl g you can exit out of that and there is something more this is marginalia so marginalia is a really nice package i actually love that package because it's give, it's it provides so much information for me so if i do an alt text you can see this is a plain alt text and i don't have any verbose information about what this command does or what this package does so if i do control g and if i use uh, use dash package um, marginalia and uh, straight d close that out and marginalia dash mode so this will install and enable marginalia in our system control x control s control x control e for that line now if i do an alt text you can see how this verbose information so it tells me what cd does stuff like that so if i search something like org it's going to give me information for what org does so if you need to expand your font size it's difficult to see you can also do that like control x control plus it's going to become big and control x control minus it's going to reduce the size control g to exit out of that then there is embark so embark's functionality is actually way better than anything i have ever tried if you invoke embark with the key binding it's going to give me some commands which i can run along with what i have what like uh, whichever i have selected or the active region stuff like that so let me show you in a moment so let's steal this entire configuration and go to our configuration file and if we open up here we just pasted that control x control s to save this control x control e to execute here let's type like letter for example letter one is uh, uppercase so we have done some stuff like this so but you can see this region is in lowercase either though it's like written that it's in uppercase so imagine if you want to change this to uppercase so i'm going to select this region so if i do a control dot or control period so for example if i need to change this to uppercase i can select this and if i do a con control period that's the binding for embark it will invoke embark over here so it's having multiple functionalities you can read through that and you can perform the action based on whatever region you have selected so here i have this upcase region so if i hit u for example it'll ask me whether i want to confirm if i hit y 
you can see it's in uppercase so this works so apart from this if you hit uh, something else if you have uh, something else open embark still have functionality for example control x b and i have selected something like scratch and if i do control period you can see how the available options for uh, this buffer stuff like that so that's really nice let's exit out of that and go to our configuration file so those are the packages i would like to show you for today so that's pretty much it for this video i hope this one was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day